Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 26th. So keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and this reading is not sign specific. Okay, so this my readings tend to resonate with whoever needs them the most. If you're in a happy, loving relationship, then you don't need a tarot reading. I mean, that's common sense. So, yeah. So what do we got for the 26th? The 26th is a day about being authentic. And I, and I see that because I was seeing 222. And 222 is about authenticity. It's about faith and trust. It's about partnerships. It's about being true to yourself. It's the two 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 is about beginning of a foundation, a beginning of a partnership. It's about making the decisions, the authentic decisions that are going to bring balance to your life because twos are about balance. Twos are also about taking that next step. You know, you take that next step. One, two, three, you know, take the next step. So somebody is in the process of taking the next step in regards to what their authentic self needs. Twenty-six. What do we got for the 26? Somebody is in the process of recognizing their limitations and either, you know, moving past those limitations or staying within their bounds. What's it going to be? What is the most authentic route for you to take? It's like being at that crossroads, right? Where you have to make a choice. Which path really is the right path? It's a moment of decision. It's a moment of choice. Based on authenticity based on truth based on what you really are based on who you are based on what you really want the magician reversed <laughs> this is deception trickery lies Manipulation. <laughs> oh, that's the card I was just describing. Okay, that is exactly, and anybody, any reader would know that's what I was just describing. The Two of Wands. Okay, somebody is absolutely at that cross row. What are you going to do? You're going you're gonna to live a lie? Are you going to tell the truth? What's it going to be? Oh my God. What is it going to be? You can keep restricting yourself and staying in this lie. Or you can be authentic. Face your fears. Take that next step into the unknown. Or you can keep... <laughs> Deceiving. You can keep lying. You can keep pretending. You can keep giving your power away. Choice is yours. This is the choice. The choice is absolutely yours. So somebody isn't needing to be authentic. Needing to shed something, but they're not. To bring success. To have heaven down here on earth, you have to take that step and you have to be honest with yourself and you have to be authentic. 
And you might have to face pain. You might have to face fear. You might have to find every resource within you to face the struggle of change. We have an unexpected opportunity here. This is an unexpected opportunity for love. This card is also a card of consequences. Okay, it is. That card right there is a card of consequences, that lover's card. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. You can choose. <laughs> Somebody is not choosing in an, in an authentic manner. That's clear. You can choose to stay where there's no success. Or you can choose another path. Anyhow, the lover's card is an unexpected choice in love. You have to make a decision. This is sudden. And this is, I feel like there's a, a sudden opportunity that has been presented, but it's not what you thought. Okay? Because you notice she's looking up at that angel and she's like, what? This isn't who I thought. Why, why'd you bring me this person? And this angel's like, because this is who you're meant to be with. So... We have somebody here that has been brought in, somebody that is unusual to them. It's not who they thought it was, but they're choosing to live some sort of deceptive lie because it doesn't, it's not what they asked for. It's, I didn't know. This isn't what I asked for. Not seeing that there's a real opportunity for love here. There's a real opportunity for love here that is not being seen or it's not being accepted. We got somebody here that is... Well, this person may be in denial or this person is too focused on a third party situation or they're focused on a loss or they're focused on a relationship that you know, ended in a third party situation. We have somebody here that is missing a huge opportunity for love with somebody that they are probably meant to be with, but they can't see it because they're living some sort of lie. Could be deceiving themselves. Fear of the unknown. Well, 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 well. There is absolutely an opportunity for love here that is being missed. It's being missed. It is. It's being missed. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and shout this out right now. I know a lot of you aren't gonna like this. Don't say that it's your DM or your DF. They're missing the opportunity. That is not the case. This is you lying to yourself, refusing to cross that bridge. It's time to cross that fucking bridge. Stop holding on to a lie. Your DM or your DF has already found somebody else. A soulmate. And it's time for you to remove that barrier and stop focusing on the loss because there is somebody else here that you are meant to be with. It is not who you think it is. Ding, 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 ding. Wake up. There's a new union here that is being missed, okay? It's like God and angels is offering somebody an opportunity for love, but this person has their eyes closed, not even seeing it because they are focused on a loss. 
not stepping over that edge, not accepting the truth, not crossing that bridge, restricting themselves to some sort of manipulation or some sort of deception. But it's like they have somebody else here if you would just open your eyes and see it. Please, please. It's not who you think it was. Open your eyes, please, please, please open your eyes. There is somebody else. Somebody that is perfect for you. Stop wasting your time. So there's an unexpected opportunity for love here that somebody is missing. Clinging to control. Absolutely. Clinging to control. Not taking any action. Miserable. Somebody is allowing themselves to give their power away to somebody that doesn't even <laughs> reciprocate. Living in some sort of fantasy land. Fantasy. Obsessed. So I feel like today is a day of somebody's still not taking action. It's like they have this new opportunity that God or the angels or the universe is trying to bring to them. But somebody is absolutely living in a state of deception. Okay, they are. They're living in a state of deception. Refusing. Refusing to see the truth. Clinging to control. Um, this is somebody that is unreasonable. So we have somebody here that is being unreasonable. Not allowing themselves to move forward with the one that they are meant to be with because of their own self-deception. This is sad. It is sad. Um, somebody is restricting themselves for... Uh, this is man, These are both manipulation for a master manipulator who has them thinking that, you know, they're the only one. No. No. blocking somebody has been blocking a soulmate connection by <laughs> living in a fantasy seriously all is not as it seems right here somebody is living in some sort of illusionary world There are hidden forces here that are trying to bring two people together. But if you don't open your eyes and see the truth of what really is, then you are screwed. You are blocking love. These are mirroring each other and this is a blockage. By clinging to control, by not taking action, by not finding your strength and your confidence to do what's right for you. To hold your head up high. There's pride in the way. Let's clarify this. Two of Cups over here. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Dissatisfied. There's no more growth in the partnership that you are investing in. There's somebody else. There is somebody else. Please open your eyes. So I feel like today is a day of 
What is today a day of? Self-deception? No strength, no confidence, lack of discipline, lack of willpower, uh, not feeling good, poor, poor, pitiful me. Come on now. Hold your head up high. Don't be a weak. Don't let your weakness get the, get the best of you. Be strong. Oh my God. It's time to let go of those past hurts, please. This is let go of those past hurts. The three of swords reversed. It's time to release this pain. It is. It's time for you to get on that path to recovery and let them bring you the one that you are meant to be with. So for the 26, I think we have somebody here that needs to let go of control, needs to stop restricting themselves, needs to stop blocking a new opportunity. It's time to accept. It's time to stop hiding from the world. It's time to stop focusing on the loss. It's time to open your eyes so I feel like today there's a golden opportunity waiting it's like God has this opportunity but you just can't see it open your eyes open your eyes please be ready for it get prepared remove that barrier remove that blockage there's a golden opportunity that they are waiting to give to you You have to open the door though. If you don't open the door. You're not going to find a successful partnership. So I feel like today is a day of. You know, I feel like today is a day of not really wanting to communicate. A day of wanting of needing to go within to find those resources and the strength that you need to heal and let go of the past hurts whatever they are I don't know who this reading is for but there is an unexpected opportunity for love that they are trying to show you this person is not your usual type this person is not who you think it is Stop deceiving yourself. I don't know who this reading is for. Good luck.